welcome back to my channel. I am so happy to see all of my little Disney peaches today. And y'all, I have a fabulous haul for you today. Um, I've actually been holding on to some of this stuff so that I could share it with you. And I had some new stuff come in. So it's going to be a fun haul. So y'all come on back. Let's see what I got. Today, I have got a little bit of everything. Loungefly, um, Dooney and Burke, uh, Funkos, um, Jim Shore, you name it, I have got it today. And I'm so excited to share it with all of you. And the first thing I wanna do before I even get started into my stuff is I want to thank someone very special for a gorgeous, piece of magic mail and you can see it right here do you not see this beautiful thing right here let me get it down and show it to you this is absolutely beautiful this was sent to me in the mail and my cards trying to fall it was sent to me in the mail and it is from a precious lady named Haley. And I love it. Let me show you. I'm going to put this down and show you the card. And then I'll show you that again. Y'all, look at this awesome card. So sweet. And I'm not going to read it all to you, but she basically said she enjoyed my channel and she sent one to Meetsy also. So if you haven't seen Meetsy's unboxing, head over there. And um, yeah, she just wanted to tell us that she really enjoyed our channel and she does this herself. And she doesn't have a shop yet on Etsy, but she's going to. And y'all, I think she would do a fabulous job. This is absolutely stunning. And she also sent me this little keychain that I'm sure she did. And it is blue and red. Isn't that so pretty? I love it. Thank you so much, Haley. It is so awesome. And y'all, let me get my thing back and show it to you again. Y'all, I absolutely love this. You can see it has a clear coat on top that just makes it absolutely beautiful. She has this gorgeous red, white, and blue. Um, it's kind of like, um, oh, what you call it? Um, oh my goodness, like a sack. Uh, 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 gosh, there's a name for it. I can't, it's escaping me right now. But anyway, it's got the red, white, and blue stars on it. And this top half is just a glittery, beautiful red. And then down here, right in the band, it says, God bless America. Isn't that so pretty? And then down here, you've got the glittery blue background. You see the glitter there? And it's got Mickey heads all in it. Oh my God. And then she included a thing to hang it. Um, I've got it right now sitting here, but I love it. She uses these um, different ones um, for her front door. That's a great idea, too. Uh, even an interior door, it would be beautiful. Or a wall, or just sitting on a shelf. I absolutely love this. It's like so perfect for the 4th of July. So, thank you again, Haley. I appreciate this so much. It totally made my day. And also, I have something else for you that um, to show you um, a little bit later in the video. So, um, but I wanted to start out with this because you're going to see it in my background. And I wanted you to know where it came from. But just absolutely beautiful. 
So thank you again, Haley. I absolutely love that piece. It's just absolutely stunning. And I cannot wait till she opens her shop. And I will definitely let you know when that happens so that you can head over and check out some of her beautiful items. So now let's move in. I'm gonna just start out with a bang. Um, I'm going straight into Loungefly and Dooney and then we'll tag on the other stuff, okay? So y'all, <laughs> I love it. It's really an unboxing. All I did is just now took it out of the box. But um, it's still taped up. Y'all, this came available. I missed it on the first go around on Loungefly. Mitzi and I both did. And then it came back and Mitzi called me. And she was like, Melissa, that bag is back on Loungefly. So we immediately purchased one. Y'all, you know what huge fans we are of Star Wars. <laughs> oh my gosh. Y'all, I absolutely love it. Um, this is from the, I think it's the 40th anniversary of the Empire Strikes Back. And y'all, it is the perfect backpack. You know, I love a huge front pocket. And I love this. I just, I'm just so tickled pink over this. This is a very different finish. It's, it's like iridescent. From afar, it just looks like silver. But it is, it has, you can see like the rainbow colors in it. It's just gorgeous. And y'all, I'm going to bring it up close so you can see this plaque. This is a, a Rebel Alliance uh, plaque right here. And let me bring it up. And if you'll see the Rebel emblem, uh, all the little divots in here. Um, it's just so pretty. Look at this. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? And then you can see the gorgeous rivets or whatever that's called. Um, and it's the Level Alliance. Here's your Star Wars and Loungefly plaque. It's in gray or silver. These do not have any side pockets. So what does that mean? I hope there's an interior pocket. Oh, and y'all look! This is Luke Skywalker on that horsey thing um, from that movie on the planet Hoth. And see, the planet Hoth in the movie was a ice snow uh, environment. And so that's why everything looks like that. And y'all, this is so pretty. And look, you've got your little holder here. And then look at the back. These straps are not the typical straps you see on Loungefly. They're kind of, uh, they almost feel a little bit suede -y. Of course, it would be imitation, I'm sure. But, um, yeah, it has a texture to it. So, I love that. And the back is just the beautiful quilting. Um, and then you have the ones with the rivets in the middle, so, or in the front. Oh, I love it. It has silver hardware, just this gorgeous silver. And, y'all, let's look at this pocket on the inside. I mean, on the outside. I love this thing here. It's Luke Skywalker, I told you, on that little thing. They ride like a horse. I don't know what you call them. But um, let's open it up and see. Okay, now, one thing I'm noticing right off the bat, this does not go all the way down. It stops really almost like one quarter of the way. So that's a very short zip. So I hope that's not going to be an issue. But um, let's open it up. Ooh! Oh, it's so pretty, y'all. I love it. Oh, you can feel it. it. You know, and these are like quilted, and it feels quilted on the inside. I had a hair on me. I mean, a piece of fuzz. Look at this. Because the pocket won't open up all the way, I'm unable to show you the whole pattern, but it'll be on the inside of the bag. But, oh my gosh. Okay, so let's look inside now that we saw inside of the big pocket. I love a big pocket, y'all. You have no idea. Oh, wow. It's really stuffed. Oh, my goodness. Let's take some of this out and see what we have. All right. Oh, we do have an interior pocket. And look at the lining. It's got the 40th anniversary of the Empire Strikes Back, and you've got 
um, in here you see AT-ATs and just the landscape from the actual war that they had. Oh, I love it. And then the pocket. Oh, I love the pocket. Oh, that's so awesome, y'all. I'm so excited. Oh, well, I'm going to tell you up straight, though. I won't probably be carrying this one because it is from the 40th anniversary of The Empire Strikes Back, and it's like one of my faves, so I really don't want to hurt this. And, you know, they're gone. You can't get them no more. I just think they're absolutely beautiful. And so, yeah, this is going in my Star Wars collection. Hey, y'all, my next one is from Shop Disney, and it came in this big old box. So, let's open it up. Of course, it always has the beautiful blue paper. <laughs> oh, it's so beautiful. <gasps> okay, let me tell you a story. Do you remember me getting the 4th of July or the Patriotic or Americana um, backpack from Duny and Burr. Well, I returned that bag. I don't know if you've heard that. I think I've mentioned it somewhere before, but the straps turned out to be just a bit too tight for me. And um, I tried it on. I get it on fine, but it fits real snugly to my back, and there's no slack. There was no slack at all in the straps and i just feel like unless you really like wearing your backpacks tight like that um that particular one's not really made for a plus size lady so um i just it costs so much i didn't want to just have it sit there and me never carry it for that reason and so i returned it and i exchanged it for this bag i went in a totally different direction y'all <gasps> yes oh my goodness y'all let's get into this thing i have been dying to get this bag out oh wow this is the first time out of the bag i love it y'all i've seen this um online and i've seen videos of this um I'll link down below the lady's name, but another lady had um, gotten this and reviewed it, and I loved it. And I said, oh my goodness, I think I'm going to have to do that. So, y'all, this is the Minnie Mouse tote from Dooney and Burke. It has a solid white background, and it has just a beautiful picturescape of nothing but Minnie Mouse sitting like at an outdoor cafe it looks like the castle is right here in the background and i guess this is main street um i would assume and oh i love it and you know my favorite color is pink oh my goodness the straps are covered and y'all look what they've done they actually inserted uh some puffy paper uh, so that this wouldn't get too creased when they had to fold it in the box. Now, I kind of understand a little bit why this was folded um, because the boxes that they ship it in, this is a rather large tote. And I think probably what happened would be it's too big of a box to ship it in. Um, with its totally stuff. I think them uh, folding it over just a little bit, um, but them putting that stuffed paper right there, it really helped with the creases. So let me stuff it up with something and I'll be right back, okay? Okay, y'all. I decided to show the inside first and then I'll stuff it and show it to you. But I did go ahead and take the strap covers off. Y'all, look, it's got a beautiful, a uh, trim pink trim on the black straps that's telling me it's gonna be gorgeous on the inside let's open it up and see oh my gosh y'all are not going to get oh my gosh you're 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 gonna flip it's hot pink oh my goodness gracious isn't that beautiful Oh, I love it. And as always, always, Dooney and Burke is absolutely fabulous with functionality in their bags. I mean, from the biggest 
largest bag they have down to the smallest it they always put pockets slip pockets zip pockets everything and so this one has a zip pocket as usual and that usually if you got a zip pocket you're gonna have a slip pocket a pocket right under it and y'all I'm opening it up oh it was un it was opened I thought no there it goes it opens up a large pocket it has your registration card so you need to always register your bag unless you're planning to sell it and then it has a huge slip pocket for your iPhone or whatever phone you carry over here it has two more slip pockets so tons of functionality and as always it comes with the key keeper um, for your keys, which I never use. I just tie it up, put it away, and y'all, absolutely stunning. And one thing that is really awesome about this bag, it zips shut. It's not an open tote, and it's, uh, the zipper's awesome, and, uh, a lot of folks, a lot of ladies love it to zip so that they have that added security. And then the pull for the zipper is just a black leather, a piece with the pink gorgeous pink trim so now that i've showed you the inside let me stuff it and show you the outside okay now i have it stuffed somewhat and i want to show you how beautiful this bag is y'all it's the kind of strap that is probably my least favorite but you know what it wasn't a deal breaker for me for this bag but it does not have any hardware here um those rings for it the strap to lay down up and down easily so um because these straps are so long they will probably just fall over easily anyway so it has these big black tabs right here and your strap comes up from that um this gorgeous Dooney and burke logo uh in the middle and then y'all come down and see the beautiful scene that's on this bag. So I believe it's Main Street and that you can see the castle also. So if y'all feel it's something else, please comment below and let me know what you think it is. But I just love even the sides y'all have this beautiful uh, touch of pink going down the side. And uh, here's the back. I feel like the back is basically the same seam. But it's so gorgeous. Oh my goodness. I absolutely love it. I love Minnie Mouse. When she's real sassy and prissy looking like that, I love it. I do love it. Y'all, you want me to show you the fun thing about the bottom of this bag? There were two other, at least two other pieces that accompanied this uh, particular one. And it was like a satchel and then like a hobo or something like that. And y'all, the print was different. This was the only piece that was like a picture type thing like this. The rest was like this pattern on the bottom. And I love how Dooney and Burke is starting to take uh, the accessory pieces to the tote and actually making, um, putting that pattern somewhere on the tote. Um, with my aerial, um, yeah, with my aerial bag and my Beauty and the Beast bag totes, they, they were that way too. The bottom was a different pattern than, uh, this was. So it has, uh, two leather straps with four feet. Um, on the bottom, but yeah, isn't that print just darling? I would love to have the satchel in this, but I wanted this one first because I thought this was my favorite out of the two, and it's just absolutely beautiful, y'all. I love it. So that's my new Denny and Burke. Okay, the next thing that I want to share with you is something that I got off of Amazon, and um. I'm just so excited. Um, you know I love Jim Shore. And this is actually, I said Jim Shore, but it's actually not a Jim Shore piece. It's actually called 
Couture de Force, and it is a Disney tradition piece. So they're all put out by Inesco, but um, these are called Couture de Force. And what I love about this line is that it's so different. It's really, um, it's it has a flair to it, like a, a touch of elegance to it. Um, they have beautiful princesses, um, villains. It, they just have a different interpretation of the piece. And I just what I just absolutely love about it. And so this uh, was what I got off of Amazon. I've already got it out of the box, so let me show it to you. Um, it is gonna be such a favorite piece of mine. I'm telling you, I love this as much as I do, if not more, than Jim Shore. Um, Cause it really suits the style I like a little bit better. And y'all, it's still in the bag. I haven't done anything with it yet. But y'all, if you follow me on Instagram, I'm just getting all this foam on me. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen it already. So, y'all, this is my new Jack and Sally um, from Inesco. And it is the um, Couture de Force. Um, y'all, look how elegant this is. I'm going to bring it up close. I know you won't be able to see. I'll have to kind of go up and down. But look, one thing that just caught me was Sally's dress. It's so couture looking and it's just so elegant. It's so different than anything I have seen uh, from The Nightmare Before Christmas. And her dress is long and very fitting and Jack just looks so GQ. I'm telling you, look at his lapel is all flared up. Um, and then I love how he's holding her hand here and they're holding hands over here as well. Jack's pants are long and striped. He has the long jacket in the background and um, it is just so beautiful. This is one of my most favorite pieces right now. I love the color. It's a, like a light lavender. It goes so well with Sally's dress. You know, it's on the inside of his suit tails here. Oh, it is just a huge favorite of mine. Y'all, this thing is absolutely gorgeous. And I got it off of Amazon. And, and even Jack has jewels on his coat buttons. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh. You know I love Nightmare Before Christmas. And you know, to me, I feel like, I know it's July, but you know, the fall and autumn and Halloween and Thanksgiving are all around the corner. And so I'm just so excited to display this. You know, I already have a shelf here dedicated to a, kind of a Halloween theme. I have another Jack. This is a Jack um, Jim Shore, and this is him as Sandy Claus, and um, I just love that too, and I have no problem at all displaying these kind of pieces year round. I love them. So, love my Jack and Sally. Okay, y'all, the next thing I want to share with you is something that we actually ordered from Shop Disney last year and it was a pre-order and y'all we just got it in i mean like oh my goodness maybe was it last week or week before and um y'all you ain't gonna believe how huge this thing is but look what i got <laughs> oh my goodness yes look how huge this thing is oh my gracious it is the big jumbo of the child and I think on the, um, I think on the uh, packing slip, they refer to it as super size. And it's definitely super size. <laughs> but this is, I'm going to take it out of the box and show it to you. But this is, um, we got the small regular size. And then um, my husband ordered this for me as well. And I knew it was going to be early spring or in spring when it came. But it turned out to be longer than that. <laughs> because of all the stuff going on right now it's probably why it took so long but let me open it up and actually show you the piece okay okay y'all look at this here it is look how huge 
huge it is. I love his bobblehead. It, it's just the perfect uh, rotation of his head and everything. I love it. But he is really large. Um, let me bring it up a little bit closer. Hopefully you can see it all in frame. And I love he's just reaching out like he is in the original Funko Pop too. And um, yeah, this is just really, it's his jacket. There's a lot of detail to it. I just love his face. It's just so precious. And I love his little wobble, wobble head. It's so cute. And um, yeah, this is from Shop Disney. And uh, yeah, it's the little child. Even though we know it's not Baby Yoda, I still call it Baby Yoda. Love it. Okay, another piece that I want to show you today is another Funko. This will be the last Funko I show. Um, but I think I've shown this on my Instagram. But y'all, I love it. It's a pop icon. And y'all, it's Marilyn Monroe. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Now, I know there were several other releases of her, which oh, I would love to get. But they are so sky high in price right now for resale value but love this let me show you out of the box okay here it is isn't it beautiful oh i love it i just love this era of time and um it's so pretty she even has her shoes down there at the bottom i love how her dress is flying up and it's so pretty and her face and her hair is just beautiful look at her hair so pretty and i love her birthmark that she has right there oh it's right above her lip really but yeah i love this one and this is marilyn monroe so if i'm lucky I'll find the others too, but I really love this. I want the one of, um, is it Catherine Hepburn? No, Audrey Hepburn um, at Tiffany's. I want that one too because I love old movies. And um, I don't know, it just bring back memories of when I used to watch them when I was a little girl. So love it. Okay, y'all, another thing I want to share with you today is I got this in the mail also from someone so precious and sweet. And um, it came all boxed up so beautiful with wrap. And it's from Ashley. Ashley, I'm so sorry. It's taken so long to get this video done, child. I'm so sorry. But I said, you know what? I'm showing it today. I usually like to do some of this stuff in Peach on Sunday. And I had to work this past weekend. And um, it's just been crazy. So, um, you know, I said, well, let me just add it to my haul. And I just cannot wait to share it with you. Um, she sent me this cute little note and she said that I've recently started making ears and started my own small shop. If you enjoy the look and the quality of the ears, um, you will love her small shop. Um, her small shop is called Cheers underscore to underscore ears cheer to ears and i will link that down below for you so that you can go to it really easily her and her fiance also started a youtube channel and it's called the carvers and i will link that down below also okay so definitely check out miss ashley she's sweet as pie and y'all look at this beautiful packaging uh, gorgeous pink paper. I love it. You know pink's my favorite color. And who is my favorite princess? Yes. Miss Belle. And look at these beautiful ears. Uh-oh, the little bow got messed up a little bit. Hold on. Let me fix it. I want the presentation to be just right. Okay. Now, y'all, this is a beautiful pattern. Um, This pattern she used it's got uh it's got adam it's not the beast it's got adam and bell together and it's so pretty you have the rose there's several elements to this look how gorgeous y'all and she's taking the time to put this beautiful 
cotton, you know, ball looking trim on the edge. And it looks so well done. And this beautiful blue, um, yellow bow, just so pretty. And the band is real soft on the inside. Here's the back. Such beautiful ears. Oh, yes. Love them. Thank you, Miss Ashley. These are absolutely beautiful. I really do thank you so much for giving me these ears. So, let's try them on. Okay, here they are. They're so pretty and so comfortable. Oh, I love them. Thank you so much, Miss Ashley. They are gorgeous. So y'all be sure to check out Ashley at her uh, YouTube channel and her small shop. And I'll have it all linked below, okay? So y'all, I was able to pick up a couple of wristlets when they went on sale at Shop Disney. I think I've shown them on my Instagram, but I haven't done a video on them. But um, y'all, one that I got actually matches the ears that I have on. This is the Lounge Fly from Shop Disney. You can see the gorgeous red uh, logo plaque. And then it has like just the imitation, um, uh, it almost feels like Sapiano leather, you know? But it has a glittery, uh, well not glittery, but a shimmer to it. And you have your belt loop there, uh, or you could put it on anything, a stroller or a wheelchair or whatever, a scooter. And um, so the back is very, uh, if you want to wear it against you, it's very smooth. You don't feel any sequins whatsoever. It has the same kind of strap so that it's comfortable. I even have the tag still on it. And y'all, I just love this sequin look. Is that not absolutely beautiful? I love it. And um, the bow is sequins, and the front pocket is sequins, and then you just have your ears up here. It has the gorgeous gold hardware, and y'all, it is just stunning. The pocket, you do have an interior pocket, but it's very small. You might fit some keys or lipstick. Um, well, you know what? I have actually done a what will fit in my bag wristlet. Um, I will link that right up here so that you can see it. And uh, if you ever wonder what all will fit in here, I'll show you. So, uh, yeah, check that video out. And so, let's see if the inside has a, a different pocket. <gasps> Not a pocket, but a different lining. No, there's no interior pockets, y'all. Um, no, not in this one, but y'all, oh my gosh, look at this lining. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's red, but it has Minnie Mouse bows. <gasps> look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I love it. Oh, it's so pretty. <gasps> this is like a huge favorite of mine. I love it. Y'all should see where I have my wristlets hanging right now. I don't really have a place picked out for them. So, you know the mannequin that I used to have in, or that I had in my background when I had my, uh, when I sat in front of my desk? Well, I have these hanging on my mannequin <laughs> because I can't figure out what else to do with them right now. So, uh, yeah, love this one. Okay, the next one that I want to show you, um, I got in that same sale. I don't know if I mentioned it when I showed you the first one, but it was $21. I got these for $21 a piece. And this one is a more of a, um, it is a brighter red and it has white polka dots and its hardware is silver and its bow is silver. Let me show you up close. Okay, so here we go. This is what this one looks like. And I think it's so cute. It really looks a lot like Minnie Mouse. Um, had this been a black bow, I think I would have really i think that would have really looked more like Minnie mouse to me but the silver bow is cute they just wanted to give it some bling bling and again it has the little pocket with your silver hardware and let's here's your strap it still has the plastic on it and um yeah let's look at the back and it has the beautiful black 
logo tag and it is uh got the disney parks and lounge fly you have all of the wristlets have this belt loop in case you want to put it on something and um yeah it's so pretty so let's see if this one has a special interior no it is just plain red it's the same kind of red that's on the outside so this is a really bright red it's very very bright red and um very light colored so yeah i like this one too but um the first one's my favorite so i had one already i had this one already look at that black bow shimmer i mean that sequins oh i love it this was my hot pink and you know i love pink every shade of pink but this is uh, the one that i had first so now i have three wristlets and they are precious i love them okay y'all i'm on my last little section of things i want to share with you and there are just some pins that i picked up and i love pins it was really truly probably my number one love when i really got into collecting disney items and i just love collecting them i love having them i love to sit down and play with them and um so i want to show you what i came up with okay so i missed this pin on the original release and i actually bought it off disney pin trading from someone in california so um i want to collect all four pieces two have been released and we're still waiting on uh the other two because they're per season so this was the first one that came out and this i guess would be spring and it is rapunzel isn't that just gorgeous Mitzi got it before I did and I was like oh no you're not getting that and I'm not so I of course went and found one and purchased it so this was the very first one that was released and um, again it is Rapunzel let's see what the limited edition is well I think it's three or four thousand or somewhere in that range um, it's kind of hard to see so that is the first one and it's Rapunzel. Then, then I have the second one that was released and it was Ariel. Look how beautiful and y'all, I love that it's rose gold. It's rose gold on hers and is that gold or silver? I can't hardly tell. Gosh, it's not very, it's not a real deep gold if it's gold. This may be silver. I can't tell. If you could tell, let me know what you think it is. It's kind of like almost, it could go either way, but it might be silver. And then this one is, I can tell very clearly, that's rose gold. So I have both of these now. And they actually, let me show you how they fit together. This is the bottom of the circle. So there's two more that's going to come out and um here we go there's two more that's going to come out for the top so this is the way it looks um for the bottom half and again you got rapunzel and you've got ariel so we've got spring and we've got summer so now we need fall and winter and it'll be done i think so love those so much also, I actually got this, and I really got it just to trade because I really don't collect Orange Bird at all, but um, I got Orange Bird, and this is the Disney Scents, and um, it's still in the packaging. It was $17.99, and um, yeah, actually, this one is up for trade, so if anybody um, wants to trade for this one, let me know, and then... Um, also, I got the next Enchanted Emblem. I have all that have been released so far, and I absolutely love these. I think they're absolutely stunning. The, the trim and everything is gold, and y'all, this is so pretty. This is Sword in the Stone, and let me take it off the backer card, and let's see what the other side, because the middle flips. And so you can flip it and see what's on the other side. So here it is, the way it comes. Look at there. Isn't that so pretty? 
I just think the artwork on these are absolutely beautiful. And not just this one. They all have been. I love it. And it just so easily switches back and forth. So, yeah, I love this. I love this series. Okay, so some of you may be trying to get those limited edition of 500 pins off Loungefly. I know I've been trying to get them. I've missed a couple. I didn't get Fox and the Hound. I really wanted it. I didn't get that one. And, um... Was there another one? Oh, I didn't get the first one. I can't remember what that was. Anyway, so I did get some. Um, I got the first one, which is the uh, Planet Hoth. And I'm not going to take... These are so hard for, to get in and out of this bag. So I'm not going to take it out of the bag. But the artwork is just beautiful. This is actually an extra. So if anybody needs one of these, I'd love to trade it for something else. I really need the fox and the hound. Oh, the, the aliens. I didn't get the aliens. You know what a huge Toy Story fan I am. And I didn't get it. Ugh. So if you see anything you want to trade for, let me know. And I can send you some traders to look at too. But yeah, this one's an extra. And uh, this is a uh, C-3PO and an Ewok. Um, at Indoor. And then I also got um, this one, which I love. This is the only one I got of it. And who is this? This is, uh, what is this called? I forget. But I love them. I collect, you know, puppies and kitties. So this is going in my collection for that. But I love the colors. And this uh, taxi sign actually lights up. I got to show you that. It actually really works. Can you believe it? So let me show you that. Okay, so I took it out of the box. And you can see on the back, most of these have three uh, posts on the back. But this one has a little rubber thing. And you push it in, and you see the sign come on? And the taxi sign comes on right here. So that's really cute. You just push it again, and it goes off. So this is really the only one I've seen that does anything like that. So I thought that was really neat. So I really love that. But yeah, that one's staying in my collection. And then I also got... Um, the Alice one. I thought this was super cute. It has the lenticular piece right here where it closes. Okay. If you, all right, this is where, this is where her eyes are open. But if you go up or down or something, it turns into uh, shutters. So you can see it changes. Yeah, it changes. So that's really cute. This is such a beautiful pen. I just love it. I love the colors and everything and her feet sticking out down here. And um, it's just a really pretty, 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 pretty box. So if anybody wants to trade for this, I am looking for the green alien one. So I would love to trade this for the green alien one. And then, also, of course, you know Mitzi and I had to snag up uh, the one from Planet Hoth um, for the anniversary of the Empire Strikes Back. And I'm going to take this out, too. It's so time-consuming. Um, I just want to show you real quick um, just how pretty this pen is. I know Star Wars is not everyone's cup of tea, but I just absolutely love it. I don't know if you can see from all the light. This is a glittery background right here, um, representing snow. And of course, the AT-AT -AT moves. This little fighter, this first little fighter right here, the front of it moves. This one is stationary, but this one moves, and the AT-AT -AT moves. So it's so pretty. I love it. And again, all of these are limited edition 500 and these were from a uh, lounge fly and so again i have those two pins for trade uh those jumbos le 500 if anybody needs those i'm still looking for fox and the hound and um i would trade the alice for the um green alien so that's it y'all that's my haul 
I'm sure I'm leaving some stuff out because I don't save and show every single thing I buy. You would never get a break. <laughs> But I absolutely wanted to share this. I'm just tickle pink. Now I can uh, actually use my bag. Oh, it's so perfect for this year. This time of year, now I need to be carrying this. It's just so pretty. And love it. And of course, you know, I love my, my Star Wars bag also. And oh my goodness, my Jack and Sally. Oh my goodness. That's my heart. I love it. So... I want to thank all of y'all for coming today, being part of my channel, as always, and it just means so much to me, and we've got more things. I'm actually going to start doing collection videos. I think because I have so much stuff, I'm going to divide up the Lounge Fly, the Dooney and Burke. I might put the Coach with the, um, with the Dooney and Burke. But, um, yeah, there's just so much. My pen collection, there's so much I want to share with you. And I'm just so excited to do that. So, thank y'all for being here today. And uh, stay tuned for more. We'll talk to you again soon. Bye. Oh, no. I gave my heart away.